Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to start the first chapter from corporate accounting that is issue and forfeiture of shares, redemption of preference shares and buyback of shares. So let's start it. So the first unit is issue and forfeiture of shares, reissue of forfeited shares. redemption of preference shares and buyback of shares so in this unit we are going to cover all these points so but in this video we are going to cover only first these three points that is corporate accounting difference between financial and corporate accounting and what do you mean by company and what are the different types of company so let's start it see here corporate accounting which is your subject so what is corporate accounting see here corporate accounting is a special branch of accounting which deals with accounting for companies preparation of their final account cash flow statements analysis and interpretation of companies financial results so friends here corporate accounting it is basically deals with accounts of company here we will prepare the final account which is based on company's final account we will prepare cash flow statements we analyze it interpret it and we will find the results of company in this slide we will understand what is the difference between financial account and corporate accounting so friends you know that the financial accounting focuses on posting of journals ledgers trial balance and preparation of final accounts like trading account pnl account and balance sheet whereas corporate accounting focuses on companies accounts okay it is main focus of corporate account is company and like liquidation of companies electricity accounts etc next see what do you mean by company so here company is a artificial person created by law having a separate legal entity with a perpetual succession and common seal so here company is an artificial person why it is artificial person because it is created by law and it is not a natural person it is created by law because of that company it is a artificial person next is having a separate legal entity so here separate legal entity means company has a separate identity it is different from its members or peoples who are controlling this company here only company is responsible to re to repay creditors similarly here company is not liable to pay personal debts of the members so the company is a separate legal entity and with a perpetual succession means company's life doesn't depend on the life of its shareholders directors or employees members may come and go but company goes on forever okay because of that the one of the most important feature of company is it is a perpetual successions and the last one is common seal so what is here common seal so friends company use it as like a signature okay so this is about the company the company is a artificial person created by law having a separate legal entity with a perpetual successions and common seals see here another definition according to the indian companies act 2013 a company means a company formed and registered under act now we will discuss here some features of company so we have already discussed these all points let's see once again one of the main feature of company is separate legal entity why it is a separate legal entity because company is different from its members the second one is artificial person why it is artificial person because company created by law it is not a natural person the third one is perpetual succession 
means company's life will not end it will goes on forever and common seal means here the company use its common seal has a signature and last one is transferability means here company transfer its shares to anyone so these are the few features of company next see what are the types of company so the first one is statutory company government company foreign company registered company subscribed company holding company private company and public company so these are the types of company thank you